Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of JT Invest in You. And today, I would love to discuss some of the bullish action in regards to Algorand that I see throughout the midst of this bear market. It's not all doom and gloom. In fact, some would say this is where the real money is made. Stick around. Currently, there's a lot of big money gearing up to enter the ecosystem, and Algorand is set to benefit from a lot of these investments. The first fund I would like to discuss today are the Osprey funds. The Osprey funds have launched the Osprey Algorand Trust, and as more leading organizations expand their offerings by leveraging Algorand, Osprey funds will bring new opportunities to investors looking to participate in the ecosystem. Osprey Funds is a premier digital asset management firm that has launched the Osprey Algorand Trust for U.S. and international investors. The fund is the first investment product offering exposure to ALGO, the native token of the Algorand network. Algorand is a promising technology and attempts to solve the blockchain trilemma by not sacrificing scalability, security, or decentralization, said Greg King, CEO of Osprey Funds. It is being used as the basis for cutting-edge projects such as CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, and NFTs, non-fungible tokens. The fund, which is custodied by Coinbase, is currently available to accredited investors for subscription with a $25,000 minimum investment. Now this is what I'm talking about when I mean big money is coming into play. This isn't just for the average retail investor. These investment vehicles are meant, to say it bluntly, for the rich. The sponsor intends to pursue listing the fund on the OTCQX market as soon as possible and has agreed to waive the management fee for all investors until January 2023. Now this would be really cool because the OTC markets are the over-the-counter markets which you're actually allowed access to uh, from brokerages such as TD Ameritrade and what have you. Unfortunately, Robinhood doesn't offer OTC markets. However, in theory, if they're able to list this on the OTC markets, then retail investors could then invest directly into these funds themselves if they chose, rather than choosing to invest directly into the cryptocurrency and have to deal with custodying them. Now, Dr. McCalley, founder of Algorand, he stated, I am excited to see Osprey Funds expand the avenues of access for investors looking to participate in the Algorand ecosystem. Interest in Algorand's technology continues to increase as new and exciting projects leverage the public Algorand blockchain and its growing ecosystem. The Osprey Algorand Trust is the latest addition to Osprey's fast-growing suite of digital asset investment products, which also includes the OBTC, the Osprey Bitcoin Trust, and the Osprey Polkadot Trust. So this is the Osprey Algorand Trust page. On it you'll find just about everything I said in the last couple of minutes. On the fact sheet you'll find a lot more of the information I just spoke of. The fund tracks the price of ALGO. The investor qualifications are to accredited investors only, currently at least. There's a 0% management fee until 2023, a $25,000 minimum investment, and a really interesting aspect is this 12-month lockup period. One of the reasons why this is interesting, or at least somewhat exciting, is because these investors will be essentially locked up for 12 months. They can't get cold feet and a month later decide to dump their shares price of algo pumps over the next month or two or three they simply can't dump it onto the market they have to wait the full 12 month lockup period in, in order to release and as stated before the fund is seeking approval for secondary market trading which would then in theory open up the doors to more than just accredited investors the next investment company that i'd love to discuss that's offering exposure to algorand is Valkyrie. The COO of Algorand stated that Valkyrie Funds is at the forefront of digital asset offerings and we are excited they are expanding participation opportunities for those who want to be a part of this growing Algorand ecosystem. 
the company has announced its latest proof-of-stake cryptocurrency trust with Algorand. Now, one of the big differences between the Osprey funds and the Valkyrie funds is that Valkyrie is offering the staking opportunities that come along with Algorand, whereas the Osprey funds are not. They're simply tracking the price action on the Osprey funds. However, as just said, the Valkyrie funds are not only tracking the price action, but also the staking rewards. The Algorand Trust will become the third investment vehicle with the company, which already operates a Bitcoin Trust and a Polkadot Trust, much like the Osprey funds. Valkyrie will now be offering investors the opportunity to gain access to the crypto through an insurable, cost-effective manner. The trust will also offer investors an annualized yield of between 4 and 6%, the staking rewards. Valkyrie Investments CEO Leah Wald commented on the latest edition saying Algorand is a rapidly growing, innovative blockchain network with a number of significant projects being built on it. We couldn't be more excited to offer this trust, and are doing so in response to significant demand from the investors we speak to on a weekly basis. Now that last part gets me excited. They are doing so in response to significant demand from the investors we speak to on a weekly basis. And these aren't just retail investors. These are accredited investors, big money investors, big money on a weekly basis is saying, you should offer Algorand. You should offer Algorand. When are you going to offer Algorand? Well, here it comes. Valkyrie is also looking to generate income from the Algo Trust by leasing the rights to use Algo held within to participate in the Algorand Network staking consensus mechanism. Currently, the fund is open to accredited investors with a minimum investment of $25,000, much like Osprey funds. While Valkyrie follows Osprey funds in offering an Algorand Trust, as I stated before, it's the only asset manager that offers staking within the trust. This is not only really exciting, but it's very, very bullish sentiment I'm getting from bigger investors. Bear markets are where the money's truly made. Those who stick around during the bear markets have the most to gain during the bull markets. Just remember that. Now here we find ourselves on the ValkyrieInvest.com webpage. Valkyrie aims to be unlike any Wall Street investment firm. Valkyrie Investments is a specialized alternative asset management firm at the intersection of traditional finance and the emerging cryptocurrency sector. Headquartered in Nashville, Valkyrie aims to create and manage bespoke portfolios and products including managing exposure to digital assets and other frontier investments. Valkyrie is led by seasoned asset managers who have previously launched multiple ETFs, publicly traded funds, and ETPs, including Bitcoin funds, with backgrounds across Guggenheim Partners, UBS, Chicago Board of Trade, and the World Bank. Some huge names. If we go over here and click on the Valkyrie Algorand Trust, you're brought to this page. Gain exposure to Algorand with the Valkyrie Algorand Trust. Professionally managed by seasoned asset managers, the trust invests exclusively in Algorand's native currency, Algo, and offers investors secure and effective access. The trust aims to provide an annualized 4-6% yield in addition to the total return of Algo. Algo is IRA eligible from certain providers. Now that's pretty exciting. Now if you click on key facts, you have get minimum investment, $25,000. Investor qualifications, accredited investors only. There's a management fee of 2%, custodian, which is Coinbase. Now that investment firms such as Valkyrie and Osprey are providing exposure to Algorand to their clients, I'm more bullish than ever. I think this is a great sign for not only Algorand, but the market as a whole. Although we are in a bear market currently, it seems institutional demand only continues to increase. These are great signs. Before I leave you today, I would like to read just two quick parts of the best article I've ever read in regards to Algorand. This article was posted on the Arrington Capital website. The Arrington Capital article itself is titled Illuminating the Dark Age of Blockchain, Algorand. The article begins with a quick disclosure that basically states 
none of the information contained within the article should be used as investment advice, which is exactly like this video. None of the information contained within should be considered investment advice as I am not an investment advisor. The disclosure also states that Arrington Capital has a financial interest in the success of the Algorand ecosystem because Arrington Capital currently owns Algo tokens. The two parts I want to read are part one of the introduction and then the executive summary. Just look at this table of contents though. This is one of the most riveting articles I've ever read in regards to Algorand. The Algorand thesis, the barbarians of DeFi, can we escape the war of pragmatism? The promise of ETH 2.0, moving past the dark age. The science of Algorand. Algorand designed philosophy. Do not do as the Romans, a forkless empire. Until the end of time. Secured by randomness. The alchemy of Algorand. One microsecond and the age of the universe. The politics of Algorand, which I do love that this article got political, because not only can blockchains such as Algorand help transform global finance, blockchains like Algorand could help transform global democracy. It's truly a powerful tool. Political systems face the trilemma, page 18. The inevitable aristocracy, page 19. The American experiment versus the Algorand experiment, page 22, and so on. This, the contents of this article are amazing. Introduction. The DeFi wars have forced new values into crypto. In the same way pre-enlightenment masses blindly accepted the benevolent monarch, crypto embraces a new centralized royalty. Citizens choose mysticism over reason, assured not by ground-up constitutions, but by blessings of the elite and their carrots of temporary yield. One core thesis underlies this report. Today's market is underweighting decentralization. The race for total value locked, TVL, is forcing trade-offs unacceptable just a year ago. Hardline decentralists surrender to a new highly pragmatic ideology. With this new philosophy, the market quietly abandons L1 scaling ambitions and concedes to two new forces, multi-chain centralization and L2 as the new panacea for DeFi scalability. Algorand represents an opportunity to transcend this rise of blockchain pragmatism. It is the first L1 to break trade-offs between performance, decentralization, and security, offering a path forward for fast DeFi without giving up on crypto's oldest and most utopian ideal, decentralization. This is rooted in several scientific and political breakthroughs. Algorand leverages randomness to solve one of the hardest problems in distributed systems. How to not only build a fast system, but one that is secured by an open and boundless set of validators. Algorand consensus is as much a political breakthrough as it is a technical one, transcending contemporary paradigms for proof of stake. We recast the idea of the blockchain trilemma as a political trilemma. Blockchains face the same set of trade-offs as any nation or government. The Algorand network breaks these confines and builds a system of government where our rulers are not the chosen few, but the entire network. Consensus is for the network, by the network, akin to the American ideal of self-government. Anyone can become a validator, governed by the same cryptographic lottery. Resulting from these breakthroughs, we believe Algorand's positioning is twofold. It will benefit from the increased fragility of centralized blockchains. Every blow-up that stems from network centralization, every coup, revolution, and invasion will make Algorand decentralization more attractive. At the same time, the network's assurances will attract TradFi capital unable to deploy on riskier networks. The endgame could be a series of hybrid experiments merging these parallel worlds, a new playground for DeFi to incorporate a real-world asset base and TradFi to take advantage of crypto's global liquidity. And for the executive summary, in this paper, we argue that blockchains are trapped in a dark age of technology centralization. The wars of multi-chain DeFi push the market to abandon decentralization, its oldest and most foundational principle. Crypto citizens search for fast technologies that optimize for DeFi yield generation. 
even if this hands power to a new class of kingmakers, from centralized exchange operators to political figureheads who guide the destiny of these networks. This dark age presents users with a choice, performance or decentralization, but not both. Following on from our 2019 report at the launch of Mainnet, we argue that Algorand represents an opportunity to transcend this paradigm. It is the first fast L1 which can coordinate between billions of people without trending toward plutocracy. Consensus is fast yet open to anyone. Algorand currently performs a thousand transactions per second with a less than five second finality without sacrificing decentralization. Solving the blockchain trilemma, compromising other networks, Algorand has been live for two years with no downtime. A series of novel cryptographic and political breakthroughs create a new system of self-government and evolvability unlike any other L1 blockchain. The end result? A way forward for DeFi without forsaking decentralization and a ground-up network for risk-averse TradFi applications like CBDCs and asset securitization. If the Enlightenment, an 18th century intellectual movement focused on the ideals of reason, liberty, and constitutional government was humanity's new base layer protocol, then the scientific method and industrial revolution were simply the apps that followed. What apps could emerge in an Algorand age of reason? One simple application is fast DeFi, without centralization and inefficiencies like minor extractable value. Another application, arguably the ultimate goal, is the eventual merger of DeFi and TradFi. We could see a wave of hybrid experiments where DeFi plugs into TradFi, bridging old and new capital pools. This, perhaps, is crypto's industrial revolution, a productivity boom that will come long after the end of the DeFi wars. In our view, Algorand could be the immutable home of high-value assets where hybrid experiments emerge and grow to global scale. As stated before, this is truly an amazing article. I will link down to it below in the description box. Feel free to read it. I truly encourage you to do so. After everything we've gone through in this video, I am more bullish than ever, and I really didn't think I could be any more bullish, but the research I've done for this video has only cemented my bullishness for Algorand. On that note, however, if you liked the content, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends, add a comment down below in the comment section, whatever you want to do. If you'd like to help support the channel, feel free to check the description box for my Algorand donation wallet address. That being said, it's been great. I appreciate you all watching, and I will catch you in the next one.